some more to go head get rolled. So it's uh, Chase uh, Ingersoll. 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 Okay. So the last last little bit. Cut it off. <laughs> yeah. So you're with Nico. That's me. We're in the GT3. We're doing seven laps. Perfect. So a couple quick things before we get rolling. You saw I just changed the mirrors there for me. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about who's behind us unless I do in fact say so. If someone comes up behind us, I'll let you know. I'll ask you to stay to one side. I'll grab the wheel. I'll turn on the flashers. We're going to let them pass. Once they get around, I'll let go. I'll turn off those flashers and we're going to chase them, okay? Perfect. So in the event that we're going to pass someone, it's a little bit different than normal track times. Mm -hmm. But So we're going to watch our closing speed. We're going to stagger. Wait for my okay. My hand must be on the wheel for you to pass, and I must say it's safe to pass. So. Okay. Stay on the opposite side of the track, give them plenty of room. You don't want to scare them. We know what we're doing, but we don't want to scare them. So once we get around, I'll let go, and you're back to racing. Don't ever let go of the wheel, obviously. Yeah. But cones, you know what they do? Two orange ones, braking. Yeah. First green cone, turning all the way up to that apex. You're going to be braking nice and slow, release. Second green cone, the apex, all the way turn, transition, break the throttle. One line towards the third green cone. Sounds pretty familiar to you, doesn't it? <laughs> now squeezing the throttle all the way out. Now, 90 degree corner, that's what that is. We don't have any 90 degree, degree corners. We'll modify that. Double apex turn eight. It's like a V. You kind of make it a V. Um, I was impressed by that uh, Cayenne. Yeah, it's impressive what it can do. Yeah. It really is. Kevin's a pretty slick driver and <laughs> he can really handle that thing. Yeah, but maybe that's a double apex who's smoking. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty quick. But, yeah. So just bear in mind we're in the GT3, so it handles very, very, a little bit differently. Um, it's, it's smooth and fast with this car. I know you're in, I know you probably know the story. It's not 11 snap over steer. Just be wary with the throttle input. Um, otherwise, just remember, keep your eyes up looking through the corner and we'll, we'll get through it. The cones are there as reminders. Use them when your peripherals don't start directly to Adam. Otherwise, you're gonna do automatic and do paddles. Paddles for sure. All right, sweet. So right hand up, shift left hand down, shift. They move oh. with the wheel. Oh, and cool. they're extremely close to these, so just be wary oh, of where wow, we're at. They really are. <laughs> yeah. That's why some people just switch over to automatic sometimes. Yeah. They're like, eh, PDK knows what it's doing. That's so. nutty. Why would they do that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I want to email the engineers and be like, listen, guys. <laughs> we have a problem here. There was a ball, and it was in your hands, and then it somehow it hit the floor. And you dropped it. What happened? <laughs> you dropped the ball, guys. <laughs> it's like, and they'll be like, aw. Exactly. But I'm okay with that. It's a little bit weird, but you get used to it. Yeah, as long as you keep it in the same position, really fun. Yeah. So, if you're ready to get rolling, I think I am too. Perfect. Sweet. So grab the brakes. I'm going to throw it in drive. I'm going to throw it in manual. Perfect. So we're going to head on out to the left side. <laughs> then we're going to head over to the right, and then back to the left. And then we're going to be inside of the box of blue cones facing the track. Stop right here so I can check. Sweet. Looks pretty good. Let's get rolling. Nice. Turn apex. Stay nice and tight. Second set of green cones. Good. Now we're going to turn all the way. Watch how much throttle you use coming out of this corner, even though it's increasing radius, it's all camper. Over to the right side. Side, squeeze after 
tank. Yeah, it's got an inverse tank. Still gotta keep it way on that. All the way, yep. It, because it's rear engine, it has nothing up front, it won't rotate yeah. without it. Brake nice and firm, downshift, go leave it in third, start turning, clipping that apex. You'll see how much more comfortable the car is coming out of the corner. Oh, yeah, you just gotta settle it. All the way.
I'll turn the other way, stay to the left. Surprising for rear engine rear-wheel drive, isn't oh it? Oh my god. I, I get what they say. I've, I've always heard, you know, the Porsche pendulum. All the way to the left and then off the brakes. Uh, Turn the wheel all the way to the left oh, and then off gotcha. the brakes, yeah. Perfect. It's, yeah, it's, the way that it drives is unlike any other car, but you felt like if you're an inch early on the throttle or yeah, if you're an inch late off the brakes or early off the brakes, it just stops turning. It's yeah. like, nah, you can, it's good. When everything's going right for it, it's just perfect, perfect. but it's like, the tiny, you know, like there were a couple times where, uh, you know, like turn uh, one there, yeah. where I just started to feed in the throttle just a little bit, and it just any at all, I could feel the nose just straighten yeah. up, you know. You could immediately feel it lighten yeah. up, and you're just like, oh, well, now we're not turning. Now yep. I have to compensate for it, and it yeah. slows you down. Yeah. But yeah, you continue to get faster, and you're really, really consistent, which is a good thing. So those small changes you notice really quickly. Awesome. So, do you have any questions though? No. Yeah, just, it's uh, a beautiful car, isn't it? Man, I'm just. <laughs> You know, you're like, when can I get one? Yeah, exactly. Get so, a new, uh, new one on the list now. Exactly. 